Hey everyone, I hope you all are safe and doing good. So, in the series of learning path and programming language, we have discussed OOP's concept. Inheritance, polymorphism, encapsulation, abstraction. All the four pillars of OOP we have discussed. And the last video was about method overloading and method overriding. Right? So, now there is one small topic, but it's important one that is magic methods in python or we can say special methods or we can say dunder methods in python there are some magic methods in python so this thing we'll see in this video what are these magic methods why these are called magic methods or dunder methods and what is the need of these methods when we use these methods and how we are going to use these methods right so now th these things we'll see in this video right but in one life in one line if i say then these magic methods allows us to use some built-in operations in python like len str and many built-in operations are there in python so these methods allows us to use these built-in operations right with our own user created objects like we create class and we create object of that class right that is our own user created object so we can use these built-in operations with our own objects now what does this mean the line let me show you practically this thing okay so first let me create a new file in our python project magic methods.py let's see first see if we take a simple example first we take we have a list okay like one zero or any variable we can have the in this list okay sorry list one equal to like this okay now if you want to find out length of this list then we know we have an inbuilt function that is len so directly we can write down what print and there we can just call this len and on which object you want to find out uh, this length list one the object name is list one and yeah it will run see it is going us it is going to give us three right and if you print this list like if i'm going to print whatever is there in this list then simply it will print 1, 0, minus 1. Okay. These are some built-in, you can say, operations. Okay. In operator overloading also, we have seen those built-in operations. Like add and addition, subtraction, multiplication. These things we have discussed, right? And there, a little bit we have discussed about dunder methods. Okay. Now, if I have a class, see, suppose I have a class... And I don't have anything in class, just I have a class variable that is name is equal to Jenny and I'm creating object of this class. Okay, Jenny. Now I want to find out length of this name. So directly if I use this len function and the object is D, right? Object name is D. And this object of this class demo and within this I have a name. So I want to find out length of this name. So is it correct? I don't know. Let me just check this out. Let's run this and see. It will give an error. Type error. Object of type demo has no len. Yeah, this len is predefined or built-in operation, built-in function, built-in method. But we cannot use this in this class. Right? Because see on this list type of object the list object is list one so list one if i say list one dot so these are the methods on this list built-in operations we can perform built-in method so see we have len len method but it is having double underscore before starting of len double underscore after ending len means prefixed with the double underscore and suffix with the double underscore okay so these kind of methods are known as special methods see le less than uh, less than equal to lt less than mul mul for multiplication so these are the methods or you can say operations built-in operations which are defined on this object okay this object list one is of which type if you want to find out the type of this object then yeah we have like this we can use this type and we simply print what is the type of this list one let's run this and see class is list type or you can say class because everything in python is an object int is also a class str is also a class so this the class of this list one is list 
and for this class this, this len function this len method is predefined but on our class demo we have an object d of type demo on this class there is no built-in or there is no len method len operation or len function defined okay so now if you want to use these built-in operations on our user defined object then use dunder methods here special methods dunder methods comes into picture you can use this thing with the help of dunder method okay now we know we have that len function len method okay so these dunder method short form or uh, the uh, of this double underscore method is dunder method so these are prefixed and suffix suffix with two underscore right okay now we'll see how to use that special len function here on our class object next thing if we print if we simply print our object d right let's just comment this out then what it will give you see it is giving our the name of or the address of that object at this address nothing else but if we print list then it will give the value whatever is there in this object list one okay but it is not printing anything it is not printing the name like gen okay so we are not able to use len and even print the, these built-in operations on our user defined object fine now here the gender methods comes into picture now let's see one example we have a class we have a class author and here i'm directly using the class object so you can use this thing also but see i just want to show one more gender method that is in it suffix and prefix and suffix with a double underscore this is also dunder method okay it is a we can say constructor fine and it is called whenever you create an object see we don't call this init function this init method it is implicitly called or automatically called when we create an object when this line is to be interpreted this is automatically being called so one beauty of these dunder method is what these are not being called explicitly by you based on your actions okay these are called implicitly so that is why these are known as magic method as well because you don't need to call these methods explicitly but these are called implicitly or automatically right so that's the beauty that's the magic that is why these are known as magic method like in villages you know uh, wife directly don't call husband especially in front of in-laws maybe you have you know faced this kind of situations or you have witnessed this kind of situation and maybe sometime we just do it <clears throat> and he's going to understand okay so wife is calling without directly calling right that's the sign language or you can say this kind of thing so these kind of method like magic method we have I hope you are able to relate this thing. I don't know. Okay, so we have so three argument we have name, book name, and pages. Now, if I want to I want to print this D, then I want this information should be printed. Something maybe like author name or book name by this author, this kind of thing. But this time if you directly print D okay name demo is not defined sorry you have to create object now the class name has been changed and it's now author so simply it give you have to call you have to pass these three argument first so name i'm just calling like i'm just passing uh, jenny and so let's run this and it will simply show that object at this reference i mean the address so we have an str method and that is being called when you want to return a you know string version of any object and suppose i just want to print str version of d so what it will give c same this and this okay so we have a dunder method str right that you can define here in this class 
underscore underscore we have c this str predefined so use the, this dunder method and i want to return what something like this using a string i am writing this return statement like self dot book name and then by and what whoever the author of this book self dot name this thing i want to print so whenever now you will print this print d this method is going to be executed print so it will ask to this object do you have any str version of yourself and yes the object will say yes i have str version of myself so it will call this str method and whatever is there in this str method it will print this thing now let's now this time this print d will return what c python basic to advanced by gen so this is you can say beauty of dunder method without this is there any str version of this d there is no str version so simply it will print that object at this memory address that's it at this reference okay so this str will return string version of any object right so whatever method will call this str this thing would be returned now and now if you execute this len on this d then see object of type author has no len okay it's fine we can define we can use dunder method we know we have built in operation len so we have a dunder method len that is predefined and it should return suppose it should return like self dot pages number of pages in my book so whenever you will call now this len behind the scene this dunder method len would be called and what is it is going to return self dot pages so see 300 now len is 300 so there are many dunder method so these i am going to tell you because these are will going to use frequently len str and one more we have like call method if you will call this object d c d as a function i am going to call this object so it is going to tell me that type error author object is not callable it's just instance for an object it's not a function that we'll call it but you want to make it callable then we have we can use a dunder method or spe special method we have that is call this method we have and suppose nothing for suppose during calling i think rather than return just print this time so i'm just going to print hi now this will print hi c right so this call this 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 dunder method would be called when the instance is called as an function as a function so we are calling this instance or this object as a function so it will see the interpreter will ask to the object do we do you have any call method or are you callable so yes i have a call method so i am callable so whatever is there in this it will return this thing same we have delete also we have a del keyword if you want to delete any variable just simply we will use like del del and the name of that variable so del d like this so let's run this see now obviously it is not going to print anything but after that if you print this d after deleting this d then it will give error see name d is not defined it's not defined now because you have deleted this right so if you want that when you are going to delete some special message should be shown or some special thing should be happened then we can define this also we have a dunder method del it's predefined so we can define this and while deleting it should print like maybe author object has been deleted right so let's run this see 300 this this and when you are going to delete delete this d it is going to print author object has been deleted and after that again you are printing d so it will show error 
name D is not defined. Right? Like this, we have many dunder methods. You can go to Google and you can just search like dunder method and Python. You can go for documentation. So here we have this thing. Just write down Google dunder method Python documentation and the first link you will get. And here you have see this tab special methods. So you can click in on the special methods and here you will get see new in it is also a dunder method, right? Del we have it's called when the instance is about to be destroyed, right? So like this str, rp, repr, it is called by str and the built-in function format and print. So this str is being called by these built-in function format and print, right? I have shown you this thing. You can see here. See this. These are also lt, le equal to greater than any this thing we have also also discussed when we were discussing operator overloading so this gender method is specifically specifically used in operator overloading you can go and watch that video say this thing we also were discussed this callable object object dot this call this is also a gender method it is called when the instance is called as a function right len we have get item set item delete and these are numeric type also like add, subtract, mul, mode, division, xor and these are also dunder method. This add we have discussed, right? When you just write down this thing, like I'm just going to print 8 plus 9. So this is an operator but behind the scene it is going to call which method? This method, this add, this one. Okay. Because see on int i will show you int dot see on int int we have this add the standard method and many dunder methods are there if you want to check out you can just print what dir int on int class how many dunder methods we have it is going to print everything see these are another method on it many methods are there so i hope you got the basic idea or what are magic method or dunder, dunder method and why these are called magic method because these are not being called explicitly right and when we use these methods when we want to use those built-in operations on our user defined objects okay then we use dunder method to give our own specific definition to these methods right so i hope you got this video now i'll see you in the next video till then bye bye take care